Hello, hello. So this is future Lisa. You guys are about to see me put together my gauntlets and then we are going to be doing a photo shoot. Cosplay building time lapse. All right, what am I doing? So what I'm doing first is I have a computer in front of me and I'm just kind of eyeballing what the gauntlets look like. I have about five to six different pictures in different positions and I'm just kind of eyeballing it and I draw out what I want it to look like and if it's something symmetrical I usually draw half of it, fold the piece of paper in half which you can kind of see right here on the bottom right side and then I cut it out so it is symmetrical. What I did first is I made my stencils and my stencils are used to put on top of the foam so I can draw it out and everything connects the way they are supposed to. If you get all of your stencils and you tape them all together, you can actually make a paper model of whatever it is that you're building. But we're not doing that right now. So take your stencils, you put it on the foam, draw it out, cut it out. I used a, an X-Acto knife and it's kind of dull, so I needed to use my Dremel to smooth out the sides. I finally got tired of doing that, so I just used my crafting scissors and that worked pretty well. After that, you glue it all together and I use a liquid cement bonding agent. The stuff holds like no other, so if you are building something that's going to be slammed around, moved around a lot, use something really sturdy like this adhesive. You paint it on to the side of the foam and you let it dry a little bit so it's not wet, it's just sticky and you won't have any problems. It is a little bit messy but it holds really well. What I use on the sides to kind of fill in the gaps if there are any is I actually use hot glue. It works really well for me, you guys can use whatever you want. So here I'm still just putting all my pieces together, smoothing out the sides. Right, finally we have some shape. It's looking like a cannon. All right, what I'm doing is I am kind of just smoothing out the sides with my hot glue gun. It looks weird right here because it has no paint on it, but I have found that hot glue works wonders, especially for armor builds. And if you want to have more of a welded metal type of look, hot glue, is your best friend. So I'm just putting the top pieces and the inside pieces of the cannon. They connect to your wrist and to your forearm. And as you can see right there, I started using the scissors at this point because I got tired of sanding everything down. At this point, I start using the thinner foam and I'm just lining the outside and keeping the detail that this cannon needs. And then after that, I start cutting out the square pieces that go in the little middle part to make it look like a grenade.
This was day three of the cosplay build. This was my second arm cannon and on day two I had already stenciled out and cut out all of the pieces that I was going to need for the second arm cannon. So day three was a lot easier when it came to building. It seemed like I just kind of flew right through it. Both of my arm canyons are now built and I take them outside and put a nice layer of casting rubber on it. This is basically a sealant. It makes your prop or your cosplay a lot more sturdy and because I'm going to be swinging these around, they're probably going to be slammed on things, smashed, thrown, whatever is going to happen. A lot's going to happen with them, so I wanted to make sure that they're nice and rubbery and strong. Now, after you let it dry, you paint. Yay, painting! Now the paint. I did about five layers of paint, and it's just to kind of make the colors pop. After that, then I weather them and I battle them, and this is what it looked like when it was all done. You guys got to see me build those gauntlets and now end results here they are i am now out on location and i'm going to be doing a photo shoot in them and in that bikini that i told you about from hot topic so this is the very first photo shoot i'm going to be doing outside by myself so Let's see how this goes. And I can't push the button. <laughs> I got this. Thank you. You got this. I love you. I love you. Bye, babe. Good luck, babe. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Now for the photo shoot portion. So I just had my clicker and I kind of just did my photo shoot like normal. Well, hello, you creepy, creepy little hallway. This hallway was so, so dark. It was wet, it was muddy, it smelt bad, it was cold. But I got some really epic shots in that hallway and it was so worth it. That hallway behind me was so dark and I couldn't see anything down there. Every time I heard a noise, I was like, oh no, somebody's gonna crawl down here and grab me and suck me down that hole. So if you see any ghosts or anything pop up in this video, tell me in the comments below. <laughs> Despite it being creepy, it was really fun shooting down there and I'm really happy I did got a little bit dirty and muddy, but it was well worth the shot. Speaking of shots, stay tuned to the end of this video and you will see a couple little preview shots from the shoot.
a photo shoot wouldn't be complete without Lisa turning into a monkey. So here you go, me climbing, shooting, having fun. Insert photo, boom, boom, boom. My camera ended up running out of storage, so this was all I got behind the scenes of the second look, but here are some photos from the look. I hope you enjoy this video, and thanks for watching.